A surge in high school advanced placement test scores has sparked accusations of grade inflation after a change in how the College Board evaluates the exams. The College Board has scored AP examinations on a scale of 1 to 5 for high school students since 1954. Universities accept no less than a qualified score of 3 for students to test out of roughly 40 introductory classes in languages, social studies, arts, mathematics, and science. Critics accuse the College Board of easing scoring to attract more students to pay for AP exams, as four-year colleges struggle with rising costs and falling enrollments. The College Board revealed this month that it started scoring the tests differently in 2022 to bring up all of its pass rates to 60 to 80 percent. It said that range best reflects the letter grade distribution in advanced placement. The share of students earning passing scores jumped in the years that each exam adopted the new system. Pass rates increased. 30 percentage points for AP English Literature to 77.9 percent, 21 points for AP Chemistry to 75.1 percent, 16.7 points for AP U.S. History to 72 percent. A College Board spokesperson said educator feedback and new data drove the decision to replace a panel of 10 to 18 scholars who tweaked the grading system every 5 to 10 years with an evidence-based standard setting. At $98 per exam, the AP system generated about $500 million in revenue for the College Board in 2022, or roughly half the nonprofit group's $1.04 billion budget. The College Board estimates that 1.2 million public high school seniors took more than 4 million AP exams in 2022. To learn more, visit WashingtonTimes.com.